The problems of the world are complex. Our societies are suffering of diseases such as crime, conflict, and financial crisis. Can we change this? How would we do this? Who would like to do it? Who would like to change it to the better? But aren't we too weak? Don't we have the possibilities for this? Well, that's the question. What would we need? We'd need more knowledge about these diseases and how to cure them. We would need to have much more information. But how would we get it? There is one person, Konrad Röntgen, who actually managed to help cure a lot of diseases. This discovery of the X-ray that he made helped millions of people in the world, if not billions. It suddenly allowed to see what is wrong. <laughs> allowed to see where the system is broken and help to fix it, so it became possible to cure diseases. Could we do the same thing with our society? Let's step back a little bit. Measuring the world has actually brought about some of the greatest discoveries of humankind. People like Alexander von Humboldt have traveled around the globe, have made many discoveries and have shared their knowledge with others. Actually, he was the founding father of our modern university system. What did it take to do all these discoveries? Well, it took measurement instruments, such as telescopes and microscopes. And in this way, it was possible to discover new continents and entirely new worlds. In fact, to reach out for the skies. And now we are trying to explore the entire universe. Isn't that fascinating? Interestingly enough, an array of many small astronomical antennas is much more powerful than one huge antenna. What are the implications for this? Well, basically, if we want to understand the problems of our society, we need to bring the best ideas of many minds together. We need to fix the world together. The citizen must come into the boat again. This is very important. We need to create this measurement system. We need to create the information that is required to understand the problems that our society is suffering from. And I call this system the planetary nervous system. Since I'm young, I want to understand the world. I'm curious. I want to know what keeps the world together. And so I studied physics. Not only this, I studied traffic science and traffic engineering. Now I'm a sociologist because I want to understand the complex systems better, such as our society and our economy. And one day I woke up and realized it was possible to create this planetary nervous system. How to do this? Well, all it takes is you and your smartphone, because we can connect all these smartphones together to create a global measurement system. And for this, basically, we need to open up the sensors that are in this smartphone. There are about 15 of them. They're measuring light, and noise, location, and many other things. But we want you to feel comfortable about it. You should be in control. We care about your privacy. So you should be able to turn these sensors on and off. You should be able to use this information yourself. You should decide whom to share it with. And here is an example of acceleration data that was measured with one smartphone. And so the question is, what can we do with such kind of data? Well, we could, for example, identify road bumps together. Or we could even detect earthquakes and warn our friends. Wouldn't that be great? We can also use that for games, actually. So my team came up with a happy game to solve conflicts, and it's kind of a virtual arm wrestling between two teams. 
Let's have a look at this. Hey, what's the greatest city in the world? Groningen. I think it's Zurich. Let's find out. Come on. 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 Come well, we can do much more than this. We can create awareness of our situation and our impact on the world. We can all make discoveries with this system. We can understand the success principles of the cultures of our world. We can create new compasses for decision makers. We can map environmental change and who causes it, or resources and who uses them. We could even map conflicts and how they come about. And we can map innovations and the global flow of ideas. We can create health maps. And we can understand the financial crisis better, such as these bankruptcy cascades that we have had in the aftermath of the financial meltdown in 2008. So hundreds of banks went bankrupt and caused losses of hundreds of billions of dollars. That shouldn't happen again. We need to have the understanding for this. Moreover, we could also overcome congestion. So this shows you a video that's simulating stop and go traffic that's annoying us every day. What can we do about it? Well, if we had real time data about traffic flows, we could feed it back. We could adapt to the traffic situation much better, and we could basically overcome congestion. So in order to get a better idea, what's the problem of this congestion? Let's elevate ourselves out of this car, and we see that there are a few cars that are actually trying to squeeze themselves into the freeway over this on-ramp. That causes perturbations or disturbances to the traffic flow. These are amplified and finally that creates stop and go traffic. But now imagine we're giving radar sensors to every single car. These are measuring distances and relative velocities and it would drive the car automatically. As you can see, this allows us to stabilize the traffic flow and to overcome congestion. The very same principle of real-time data can be used also to improve traffic flow in cities. We've actually come up with a self-organized traffic light system, which is totally innovative because rather than the traffic lights trying to control the traffic flows, the traffic flows control the traffic lights. And just today, I received an email of a collaborator of myself in Dresden saying that a bus driver was actually calling the traffic control center because he was surprised there were no traffic jams anymore. <laughs> so this is the benefit that we can create. Benefits for public transportation, motorized traffic, pedestrians and cyclists, and actually for everyone. In perspective, we can use the very same principle of self-organizing system based on real-time data and adaptive feedback for our production systems and for our entire economy and even the society. This is not a dream anymore, actually. I have a team of young, dedicated, cool people who are working on this burnt nervous system. They're the core of NervousNet, a community that we are now creating and you would hopefully join. The plan is to create a planetary nervous system as citizen web. And that would allow us to create an open data source for everyone, something like a real-time Wikipedia. It should be a participatory system for all of us. It would create new opportunities for everyone. Let me give some examples. So, First of all, you can see it's extremely exciting to work on this. <laughs> and it's actually a lot of fun because we can turn the sensor data into basically everything, everything that comes to your mind, and you will have the possibility to influence what's done with this data. 
For example, we can turn accelerometer data or um, also visual data into music or into arts. So we can transform these different inputs and outputs into each other as we like. We can also turn cities into adventures. And we can even establish our own businesses with these data. Wouldn't that be great? So why don't we do this together? The success principle of this is give and take. So basically, you can take the data that you need, but you would give your data in exchange. In the very same way, would you be able to use the computer codes that are needed to use the sensors to measure things in the world? But you would have some ideas what else to measure with those sensors. So you would basically share back your computer codes with this nervous net community. And this way, we would grow a powerful information system together. So eventually, this would go global like OpenStreetMap. And within a few months or a few years, that would really become a planetary nervous system. So get ready for this. Take out your smartphone. Team up with your friends. Join the NervousNet community and improve the world together. Thank you very much. <laughs>